Whoa! Look at this, look at this. That's actually not bad. Okay, that's... That's not bad either. Today marks 100 days of these Nicola potatoes being in the soil. So I planted these on the 24th of September, which was three days after the spring solstice in Australia. And now it's the 2nd of January. So let's get into it. Okay, so guys, so in order to harvest these, I'm just gonna pull them out with these gloves. And if they get, if I notice a lot of hard soil, I'm gonna use this gardening fork. So let's get into it. Let's see what we've got. Whoa, okay, so I've already got two here. And I'm just putting everything into this little bucket. Let's have a look. Whoa. Look at that. So I've got these planted right near my, new, my uh, cucumbers, so next year I won't be doing that. So I think that's it, but I might just get my gardening fork and go in a little bit and see if we got anything deeper in the soil. So this is really hard clay. So guys, I planted this in um, pretty heavy clay soil, but some of the crop is in some improved soil. So I guess we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so potato number two. Let's see what we've got. This one looks a, a bit more impressive. So I'm gonna pull it up. Whoa, okay, so, so far, it's already got a better harvest, I can tell. Look at that, there's a bit of forking going on there. So once again, this looks like to be the sea potato, so I'm going to take that out. That's not bad, that's not bad. There's a lot of small ones on here. sort of annoying to deal with to be honest and we will dig under again that's interesting there's a lot of uh, forking well not forking but weird formations a lot of weird formations of potatoes it's interesting let's dig again <clears throat> here we go oh, not bad not bad That's odd, isn't it? So there's a lot of, um, oh, that's not bad. There's a lot of potatoes forming at the top of the soil. And I think these, uh, I think this variety might have been indeterminate. So I think next time, what I'm gonna do is mulch the soil with some hay so I don't get any, uh, potatoes forming at the, at the top and turning green. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna use the gardening fork again just to make sure that there's nothing hiding underneath. And I probably won't be able to get everything, but that's all right. Oh, well, there we go. Wow, that was hiding in there. I think I'm, I'm gonna have to come back and uh, check the sides a bit more. Okay guys, so potato number three. And you can see a lot of potatoes forming here at the top. So I think this was an indeterminate variety and next year I'm definitely gonna uh, mulch the soil with some hay so they don't um, get uh, cooked by the sun. So let's see what we got here. Okay, well, um, a lot of dust went in my face. There you go, see, it's gone green. That's unfortunate. I think this crop might have been decent. So I don't think these are edible, really. Um, bit disappointing there. All right. Okay, so we missed a bit. And you can see I've got cucumbers growing in here, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'll be back, guys, in just one moment. Okay, let's have a look. I think we got a good one here. Okay. I got, uh, I got trolled. Yeah, so definitely next year I'm going to make sure that I don't plant anything too close because that is, uh, really annoying. 
dig underneath here. Okay, so a lot of potatoes seem to be forming at the top and nothing really is going that low, which could be an indicator that this soil is very clay heavy. So next year I might even raise up the soil a bit. It's always good to uh, experiment and see what works best in your context. All right, so judging by the uh, judging by what we've had before, I don't think I'm going to fork into the soil, but I'll probably do something later on just to make sure that I'm not missing out. Okay, guys, so potato number four seems to be one of the larger ones. So let's rip this out again. Okay, this one's really large. So this is one of the better ones I've had so far. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, so this is where the um, this is what I was talking about. The soil in this area is uh, a lot more improved. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'll admit, finally, I got something something amazing to show. So yeah, these plants look a lot larger than the ones before too. And the reason why I think that's happening is because the soil in this area, it was, um, it's got a lot more organic matter in it. Let's quickly pull this one out here. All right, so there's a bit of a mess going on there. Whoa! Look at this, look at this. That's actually not bad. Okay, that's, that's not bad either. Okay, the three decent ones in a row. Four? Okay, not bad, not bad. We're getting there. So from the last two potato plants I've harvested, I've, prob I've probably got more than the entire um, harvest so far in that little pin. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So yeah, definitely don't need. Uh, I definitely don't need to use a fork. Um, they seem to be forming at the top. So guys, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I feel a massive one. Okay, not bad, not bad. There you go, another one. This, actually, guys, this is turning out to be better than I thought it would be. So, yeah, you can see the potatoes forming at the top. So, next year, definitely going to use um, mulch. All right, so let's pull this one out. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, these last couple ones have been pretty impressive to be honest. Okay, this seems to be like a large one. You can feel it. Not bad. That's actually really nice. And some weeds. Just get rid of that while we're at it. Guys, this these last couple crops have been really impressive. Whoa, not bad. I just keep finding them. I just keep finding them here. They've set really well here. And I missed one. There we go, and you can see I've got cucumbers growing through here. So from the last couple of plants, I've got this much potatoes, so that's, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Whoa, sorry, I'm getting more here now. Okay, so yeah, okay, so I'm getting a lot of more potatoes over here, and I just, I just keep on getting, I just keep on, I just keep on finding them. Look, another one right here. Okay, that was just soil. Surely that's it. Surely that's it. And just when I thought I was done. I find more. Oh my. Look, another one here. Oh. Oh. These are not bad size. Yeah, so this this is like a half crop. Half of them were really good. And some of them at the beginning were pretty poor in my opinion. So surely that has to be it. There's no way I've got all of them, I reckon. I've had to miss miss some. Okay. So I think we are done here.
until I find another one. So guys, this is just from the last couple of plants and once again this variety is called Nicola and they've been in here for 100 days. You can see the soil here looks a lot better than the soil over there when we asked where we started. So a uh, massive difference, massive difference. Okay guys, so I'm done now. So I'm a bit out of breath, but what I did was I got my garden fork and I just dug around uh, where the soil was really well developed and I knew the tubers would be a lot deeper there. So I found a couple extra potatoes and they're pretty large, but I think for the most part, that's it now. I finished with the potato harvest of 2022. So I'm gonna go in now and weigh everything up and see how much I got. So guys, I just finished weighing everything and I got six and a half kilos. So I'm pretty happy with that. Just a couple of things to add um, for anyone interested in how much I uh, made with the uh, return on investment. And uh, once again, the uh, variety is called Nicola. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, drop a like below, and uh, as always, happy gardening.